Idaho's storm tracker weather with East Idaho's chief meteorologist, Doug Iverson. Tracking a serious chill in the air, especially late tonight, tomorrow morning. National Weather Service has issued a wind, wind chill warning. It's hard to say. It's just so cold. Uh, wind chills of 20 below to 30 below zero late tonight into uh, tomorrow morning until about 10 a.m. We're not talking a lot of wind in the upper Snake River Plain or upper highlands, but enough of a breeze, say a 10 mile per hour breeze, which is nothing for these parts. Well, that's strong enough to put us down in these dangerously cold wind chill values. In fact, when it's that cold, it only takes 10 minutes or less to get frostbite, at least on exposed skin. So uh, stay inside during that period there between late tonight and to tomorrow morning. Storm tracker showing that clear sky, which is another reason why it's going to be so cold tonight. We got fresh snow on the ground. Meanwhile, we got a little bit of snow down south, just south of Salt Lake City, maybe some snow around Provo up to about point of the mountain. Uh, these clouds will try to slop into the southeast corner, but for the most part, we get high pressure and control of our weather, so we're going to stay dry at least for the next 24 hours. We may start to see some changes, though, as far as precipitation goes as early as late tomorrow night into Saturday morning. Temperature tracker, we're only at 13 up in Billings. Can always be colder. We're 13 degrees warmer in Pocatello. We'll take that. A little warmer, though, over in Boise. They're right at the freezing mark. Up in Lewiston, they're actually a little colder than Boise at 28 degrees, and we're at 31 right now in Salt Lake City. So your forecast tonight, that clear sky means tonight will be even colder than last night. Now, last night, we stayed above zero in Pocatello. We had a low of five. Tonight, minus three. Five below in Idaho Falls, and again, the upper Snake River Plain, wind chill warning, so Rexburg, St. Anthony. Mostly clear for the Central Mountain, Stanley, minus 13. Two below in Arco, or I should say Salmon. We're looking at two below in uh, Chalice. Arco, you're at minus four, and Mackey at minus seven. That's nothing, though. Driggs tonight, 18 below. Yellowstone tonight, 18 below zero. We're at 13 below in Montpelier, six below in Downey. Tell you, it's all that fresh snow on the ground with a clear sky. There's no blanket over the top of us. Mainly sunny tomorrow for the southeast highlands. Highs mainly in the 20s. And then for the upper highlands, we'll say partly sunny. Highs in the teens and 20s. And for the central portion of the state, we'll see a partly sunny sky. We'll reach up to a whopping 28 in Salmon. It'll be 10 degrees colder in the afternoon. Arca with a high of 18. Pocatello still colder than average. We'll start off with some blue sky. Then clouds will start to stream in later on. 25 in the Gate City. Only 22 in Idaho Falls. Your Southeast Idaho Chevy dealer seven day forecast. We got a chance of snow late tomorrow night. Snow likely on Saturday. And notice the warming trend. I mentioned this earlier. Look at that. Highs in the 40s. In fact, if anything falls from the sky Tuesday and Wednesday, it will be in the form of rain, not snow. Yeah, it's going to get pretty messy around here, huh? Idaho Falls seven day forecast. Starting off the weekend with snow. Could linger into Sunday. The wind machine really gets going into next week. Teton area, snowy weekend. In fact, snowy clear through Thursday, but Wednesday, rain and snow in the Teton area. For the Central Mountains, we got a decent day tomorrow, and then get a gas up the snow blower. Get out the snow shovel. You're going to need it this weekend. And then it's a wintry mix because high temperatures will top out in the 40s with rain and snow Monday through Thursday.